practice. Well, we're doing here. Uh, well, the, yeah, the scrimmage portion of uh, practice today. How did that go for you guys? Uh, really good. I think uh, like we started a little slow, and then once we picked up, the ball just started rolling, and I felt like like we just didn't really get stopped a whole lot at the end. And like once we get the ball rolling, it's, I feel like it's really hard to stop, and the play calling is amazing. So uh, it was good. How fast are you kind of picking up the playbook and what, what's being expected of you out there? Uh, pretty fast. I think I, I'm pretty in tune with the playbook already, which is very, like, like a big relief for me because yeah. I think that's half of it, knowing the playbook, and it allows you to play fast. So I think right now, like, I don't really have any really trouble with the playbook at all. You yeah. just got to know it quick because um, it's like rapid fire when you're out there, obviously. Like, that's kind of how last year was, too. You get the play, you got to know it, boom, we go. And that's how it is. So I think last year helped a little bit with the transition to this year, for sure. You have two wide receivers coaches now. Do you work with both? And how does that kind of relationship work out on the practice field? Um, I think when you're out here, it's a little different. Like, it's kind of like a little bit of a combination, but most of the time with Coach Simmons. And, like, we have our own room in there, and um, that's where I've been, like, most of the time with the outside receivers. So uh, I think it's, like, kind of a mix when we're out here. It's kind of weird. But like, because I've never had it outside and inside before. Yeah. But uh, for the most part, it's, I'm mostly with Coach Simmons. Yeah. How have people adjusted to that? Because mm -hmm. USC's typically had just one receiver coach, and right. now you have two receivers coaches and a tight end coach. Yeah. I think uh, I think we've adjusted pretty good. I think it's a pretty cool thing, like actually, because like you get to work on different things. Obviously, when you're outside and inside, two different kind of games and two different like reads and stuff like that. So I think it's good for everyone, including like guys that mostly play inside to get a different perspective, yeah. like on that side of the ball. Have any of your fellow receivers impressed you at all this week? Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, I would say Mario. Mario and B-Rice, obviously they're new. Those are the new guys coming in there. I think I already had pretty high expectations from them. And I, you know, like when they come in, you look up some of the stuff they do and this and that. And I think uh, the main thing from that is learning stuff from them. I know like I a lot of the times I chatted up with Mario and like things to work on and bouncing each other's game off each other and I think that's a big thing because he's shorter but he's also plays outside so I could kind of take some of his stuff and then implement it in my game and we've been kind of talking how I could maybe give him some things that I do and it's kind of just helped us work together for sure. What's it what? like to think now you're kind of like you and John Jackson, you guys are like longest tenured guys in that room now. Kind of, what's what's it been like seeing that transformation over you know short time? Yeah, it's it's definitely weird. Like, I think this spring has like really made me like realize that like I'm. Like sometimes I take a step back and I'm like, I'm the oldest guy in this room. Like, I mean, it's just crazy that like out of everyone that I've been here with, it's like, I'm like one of the last ones left, which is like, you know, it's crazy to think. Cause obviously coming in, like I just had some injury things go on it, but like, I'm just happy to be here and happy to be a leader in this room. and you know, try to excel this room to the top, and I feel like we could do that this year. How do you try to be a leader in the right Um, Definitely, I think a lot of it is just, like, taking care of the younger guys. Obviously, when they come in, like, you could see, like, you just want to help them. Like, that's because that's how I felt, like, when I was here with Pittman and stuff. Like, he would help me, and that was, like, the biggest thing for me is, like, when you get how I felt, getting confidence from Pittman when he would tell me good things, and, like, I think that's just the kind of thing that I would like to pass on. And, you know, I think that's a good thing for the room, for sure. What are the differences in how Lincoln Riley and Dennis Simmons used you guys, your receivers, than you know, previous staff? Um, I would say it's a lot more diverse. I think I'd put it that way. Like, we do a lot more things, like, especially in the run game with a lot of blocking. Like, you got to even block even more than last year, and which I love because, obviously, I'm a big receiver, and that's just, like, one thing that I take pride in. And it's also a lot of different routes and a lot of different route concepts. You got to be a little more creative. It allows you to be a little more creative, I feel like, not so set in stone. And um, I think that's what helped me mostly because sometimes you can't do the same thing over and over again. And then with this offense, you could get a little creative in your routes, and they allow you to do that within, like, a certain boundary. What was your reaction or what was going through your mind when you saw the news spread that Lincoln was in the company this offense was coming in? Uh, I thought it was crazy. It was a little surreal. It felt like a lot of stuff during that period felt kind of like a movie. Like that's just kind of what it felt like. That's the best way I just can describe it. I was excited definitely for like a new opportunity and like obviously a little anxious about everything because obviously when you have a new staff coming in, you, you don't know. Like, but um, I just was more excited and I was just like just trying to see what the future held right there for sure. What was your first conversation like with Lincoln Riley? Do you recall? Yeah, um, I mean, it was really cool. I think it was like during that period that we had a little time off. And um, it was really cool and it was really refreshing because honestly, like 
I think that's one of the first times like I've been like kind of nervous going into an office because like you just don't know what you're gonna hear like when you're first like meeting someone new that's gonna be your coach for probably a long time and like um, it was definitely a, some weight off my shoulders. They liked a lot of stuff that I did last season and then they came to the practice at the end of the season and I felt like I had some of my best practices of the week. So um, I think I put a good display on for them and they liked what they saw and, you know, just um, felt good to just like have someone be like, hey, we, we trust you and we we're excited for you type thing. Did you, did you feel like that Cal game was an opportunity to show them you know, what you could do? I think for sure, but I think that's like something that I felt like I could have done all season. So that's what, that's kind of what I took it as, like, just let me show everyone what I, we could have been doing all season. And, like, that's just was, like, my focal point thing is just kind of, like, counting that in. Just for me, that's how I've always been. I always like to prove people wrong. And, like, I think that was my biggest thing that game more than just doing it for someone. I always try and play like that. It was just, like, I really wanted to hound it in that game that I wanted to be, like, prove people wrong and, like, show people, like, what we were missing a little bit, for sure. I'll talk Dennis, Dennis Simmons. Great coach. He's really hard on us. Like that's what I love about him. Like it's a lot of like literally exact definition of tough love. Like he just is really hard on us. He like we could do something right and there's something smaller that we could have done better. Like and I think that's like what I love about him is because like I'm a perfectionist and he tries to make us the best version of ourselves. And um, you, you can tell he really cares about us. Always checks on us like outside of outside of uh, football and like last uh, that we had a receiver dinner over there. So it was cool just to like. And he brings his family and his son in, so it's like it feels like he really brings his family into us too. So it feels like we're a part of his family too. You have two extremely talented quarterbacks here on the team last year. One is now at Ole Miss, and you have Miller Moss. But I'm just curious what your thoughts are on on what Caleb Williams adds to this program. A lot. I mean, he comes out here like first day, like you know, you could just tell he wants to be a leader and he wants to take over this team and. I think he just done a lot of good things in terms of like bonding with a lot of teammates like very fast and I think that's what a leader do, like does and like that's who he is and comes out here shows a lot of emotion which I'm a big fan of it gets the guys going so like I think that's one big thing I really like his emotion the way he plays with like just like more of like a hunger to be great type thing for sure. See you one more. And good, good. In, in what ways are you better now than you were four months ago? I definitely feel a lot faster. Um, I think that's one thing I've been trying to be better with. I'm a lot better with my feet, a lot better at being in control of my body. I think that's like one thing that I really hounded in on. And um, I just got to continue to keep being physical while being able to be good with my feet. I think that's one thing that I've been working on in spring is there's times where I'm like trying to be really, really good with my feet. And sometimes I'm not as physical. So I'm trying to like, I'm like one step away from blending those two together to being like really where I want to be for sure. Thanks, Kyle.